Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Toronto! <laughs> Did you plan that? <laughs> Today is October 19th and this is what I look like. <laughs> so we got into Toronto last night. We moved our things. We are officially here as of now and the apartment is a disaster. And I didn't vlog all day today. I had, I had meant to but I couldn't find the SD card and it is now um, 8.50 p.m. and I have found it. So I'm plugging it in now and I'm gonna give you guys a little update <laughs> on our whereabouts and what we've been doing. So, that fan never turns off. It's incredibly loud, it's incredibly annoying. Sorry in advance. These were the four bins that we put on WestJet Cargo. Put up a shoe rack. If you guys watched my moving to Toronto vlog, you would have seen this, but we officially set them up. Hung up the coats, got some toilet papier. And this is the state <laughs> of the living room, which honestly, like we had all of our suitcases and we have unpacked everything. This is Meryl's food basket. I got these baskets at Walmart. We bought a Brita filter. We got in at about 1.30 a.m. We fell asleep by two. And then today we actually just met up with Vanessa and we did a bunch of running around. We went to Walmart, we went and got groceries. We went to West Elm because Vanessa actually had to pick up a dresser that she had ordered. And then we actually took this from her place. This is a desk from Ikea and that's gonna be in the beauty room. And I'm gonna use that to just film on. That's going in there. And then we actually, Dan and I just went to Home Depot right now this evening and we got some plants. So these are our new palm trees. Now, for those of you who've been following me for a while, I've gone through Antoine the first, Antoine the second, and you know, this is Antoine the third and Antoine the third, second. We'll see how they go. The man at Home Depot assured me that they are very hard to kill, so maybe these are different palms. They're actually like a little bit more bushy. They're not so palmy, but they were only 19.99, 20 bucks for each palm and they're absolutely huge. So one of them, I think, I think I'm think i gonna do the bushier one. This one's a little bit wider. I think I'm gonna put that one right here in the corner. And then our couch is actually being delivered tomorrow, which I'm so excited about and I'm going to vlog that. Can't wait. So we've pretty much just been unpacking and getting settled in. I'm so greasy and disgusting. I can't wait to like shower and feel normal and have everything put away. It'll be great. We also got an air mattress because we don't have our bed or mattress yet. So this is the air mattress, we got it at Walmart. And then you had to get a pump with it. And we just realized, well Dan's been doing this, just realized that we don't have the batteries. So he's going to get the batteries for it. So we can pump that up. I just actually also today uploaded, well I guess it was last night and technically this morning. Hello, sorry, this is better. I uploaded the weekly vlog. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. I uploaded a weekly vlog that I filmed the last week and then I also uploaded the final Full Face Friday and thus far there's so many of you guys commenting on the weekly vlog saying that you are very much into the idea of keeping the weekly vlogs around and I appreciate all of your guys' feedback. The comments were so lovely so thank you so much for all of the love. It's been so nice <laughs> reading all of your guys' comments and I think that because Vlogmas, Landmas, is going to be coming up in December, I will do a weekly vlog every Every Sunday not necessarily vlogging an entire week but just have a vlog posted weekly every Sunday until vlogmas and then once vlogmas is finished where you guys will be seeing a video every day obviously the weekly vlogs aren't gonna be a thing during that time um, but we can kind of decide what we're gonna do post Christmas in the new year 2019 that's friggin wild that it's already 2019 I can't even believe I'm planning for vlogmas this year it just I blinked and 2018 disappeared. Yeah, basically I just decided to vlog right now and vlog tomorrow because the couch is being delivered. I can give you guys a couple more updates. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a PR haul. Kind of catch you guys up and get us set up. I'm gonna post this on Sunday and once we're all settled in and unpacked then we'll actually start filming full videos. I need to set up the beauty room. I think I'm gonna do that tonight. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'll do a little bit more decor talk with you tomorrow in the morning and uh, for now, I'm gonna go. Look at how exhausted I look. I'm not even focusing on my face, thank goodness, because I look ill. I'm gonna go put a face mask on and go to bed. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's 11.35. It is Saturday morning. I saw you last night. A little disheveled and I'm still disheveled. <laughs> 
the, uh, the, the three hour time change actually makes such a difference. It's really hard in the morning. Um, that's why we just woke up right now. We just got a phone call from Article and they are almost here with our couch and I'm so excited. Just really quickly got out of bed and brushed my teeth. So I'll show you guys what the place is looking like. It's messy, but I'll show you now in the daylight. So this is kind of what we got working with. What, what, this is what we're working with right now. You guys saw this whole office set up. This is actually the lamp from the bedroom. Um, we need to figure out the lighting situation in here because it actually gets really, really dark at night. And these are the only lights that are up here. So yeah, you guys saw all of this before. These are the two plants. Beautiful Antoine the Third and unnamed. <laughs> I think we're just gonna keep one in here and then put one either in the beauty room or the other room. Um, but basically, we have a left section also. It's gonna go right here with the plant in the corner. Oh, I'm so excited for the couch to be right here. Oh, wow. And then eventually, we're gonna have some prints coming. We're making a little gallery wall here. And then I rolled the desk in here last night. And so this is all my makeup. I had saran wrapped it for the move. This is some PR that I'll show you guys a little bit later. And we also got this plant. This is George the Second. Got him from Home Depot last night too. I'm gonna feed Meryl and then the coach is gonna get here, yay! So this is the couch. This is our couch from Article. This is the Schwen sectional. I am so obsessed with the color. I think it looks so good and it so perfectly filled this space. Um, we also ordered these Yarrow gold chairs, but I, uh, the plan was to have a little cozy thing and it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really fly. <laughs> It is not how I envisioned it. So the couch it is, beautiful. Don't mind the mess. But we took the other chair and put it here and I think we're just gonna make a little nook here with it. And maybe we'll use the other chair in the bedroom, but we'll see. I just don't really, I thought it would definitely go better together in here with it. But I think the couch itself is so perfect. I'm thrilled, it looks amazing. Meryl. Are you under the pillow? <laughs> so while Dan's taking his snooze on the new couch, <laughs> he took all the pillows off. And we can fully sleep here. It's great. Now to go back to tackling this. Cubes fit, so I've just started unpacking that. I'm not sure what entirely I'm going to put in these two drawers, but I basically just wanna have all my makeup here. This is the foundation bin so far. And we'll see what happens when it's done. Hello folks, it's many hours later. What time is it? Oh my god, oh my god, it's six o'clock. I don't really know what to tell you. The day kind of crept crept away from us. I had a really bad headache and we actually had a little nap. Um, it's still kind of lingering. I don't know, I think just the, the end of the move is upon us. It feels good, it feels good, but you know, anyway, it's okay. I don't know. I promised you guys a little mini PR haul. So I'm gonna do right now. I piled it all in front of me and then I have my bins for giveaways and donation and then you know whatever I keep I'll put over there so anyway I'll just show you guys what was waiting in the mail first thing I'm really excited about this because I didn't know that I was getting this but it's actually um, the MAC lipstick that MAC did with Sandra Deluxe and look at how cute their box is how cute this packaging is I'm so excited if you guys don't know Sandra Deluxe she <sighs> She's so beautiful and she's so talented. That just must be such an exciting thing to be able to create a lipstick. This is her MAC lipstick. What's it called? Oh, it just says Sandra Deluxe sample. So I guess it's just the Sandra Deluxe lipstick. That's pretty insane, but this is the color here. How beautiful is that? 
I'll definitely have to use that at some point. I'm not sure um, when it's available or where it's available. Hopefully that Mac from the last time around will have made it more available to other countries and not just the country that the blogger is living in, but that's so beautiful. I really wanna keep the box, that's a really fun box. So Sanja, thank you so much for this lipstick. Congratulations, that's amazing. I also got a package from Viziart and they wrapped all of the things up in this cute little paper packaging which I love so much. And I've never actually received a PR from Viziart before, so I'm really excited. This is their Theory palette in cashmere. This is the packaging. It like opens out like that. How beautiful is that? Is this the palette? Oh, oh my God, that's the palette itself. How pretty is that, you guys? Look at this, it has a little pull tab and it pulls out like this. And that's the palette. I'll just take this off. Take the packaging off. This is the cashmere palette. Really beautiful palette for an everyday nude. Very cool tone, which is nice. Um, I love this packaging. I think that is so brilliant. It's just a little magnet. That's so fun. Oh, they are. Oh my gosh, the shadows are refillable. That's fantastic. So if you guys like are just one of those people who likes to use one eyeshadow palette every day, and you use up your favorite color, AKA the Naked 2 and the Naked Basics Palette Original. <laughs> you have the option to refill the eyeshadows. I think that's awesome. This art. Well done. What are the other palettes? This is the Nuance Theory Palette. Ooh, that's pretty. This is the Nuance Palette and it looks to be all shimmer, which I don't know how I feel about that but it's really beautiful. And again, I love the packaging of these ones. Viseart is incredibly, incredibly expensive. So I'll have to maybe test these out in a full face Friday. Let me know in the comments down below, like out of any of these products, what you guys would like to see. I'm happy to review and test them for you. This is the neutral matte palette. Oh my gosh, TBT y'all. I used to use this palette like nobody's business um, because a viewer actually sent it to me and they have since changed the packaging. It's not the same. Now this is like magnety, but if you guys, this is not a new palette by any means, but this is their neutral matte palette, which I think is really beautiful. I do wish that they didn't have, like I wish they would just make a warm version and like a cool version because I think these two could have been replaced by some other like beautiful warm shadows and that would have been like a complete warm shadow look. But I do like that they updated the packaging. It used to be like, it's still the same plastic, but now it's just this like, Magnet. Am I still in my pajamas at 6 p.m.? Yes, I am. Do I need more coffee? Yes, I do. We actually had a meeting with the PR firm that does the PewDiePie and Marcia's merch. Make, make, nudge, nudge, stay tuned. <laughs> and they actually gave us all of their merch, which was really awesome. I was like, oh, I love PewDiePie. I'll drink out of my Pew's mug. Thanks. Oh my God, that one's actually really beautiful. This is another palette. It's all shimmers. This is all shimmers, but this is called the Paris nudes. I don't want to swatch them or anything yet because I can't find my <laughs> uh, makeup wipes. But that is the package from Viseart. Viseart, thank you so much for sending these palettes on. If there's any of these that you guys want to see in a full face Friday or a shorter Instagram video, if you just want my quick thoughts on them or see a quick look, let me know in the comments down below. The next one, I'm really excited about this because this is Persona is Sona's um, makeup line. I love Sona. She's absolutely wonderful. I've been on a couple of trips with her and she's just been nothing but wonderful and nice to me and her brand is beautiful and they just launched eyeshadow palettes. These are their color theory eye kits and I thought that this packaging was so good. This is the color theory eye kit. This is the copper version and on the back it shows you what's in the bag. It tells you what eye colors it's good for, the eyeshadow ingredients, all that good stuff. I love the bag. I think it's so good and then inside you get the eyeshadow palette itself which this is the copper one and I think she did such a beautiful job with these shadow selections in here they're absolutely gorgeous and then an eyeshadow brush and an eyeliner to go with it to complete the look and then this is also the pink one so this is the pink color kit here it comes with the eye pencil and the eyeshadow brush and then this is the pink palette itself which oh, Mm, it's so good. She actually just posted a little Instagram video using this and did a pink look and it looked so beautiful. So again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see these in a full face Friday or an upcoming tutorial. I think they are gorgeous. I got a package from NARS and I haven't actually opened this yet, but this was a box from NARS. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. It's eyeshadows. Oh, a whole box of eyeshadows from NARS. Look at that. That's such cool branding on there. This is a little card that came with it. How cool is that? Oh, this is the one I actually used in Ibiza. This is the Cordura 
two. So there's two eyeshadow uh, duos in here and they put a bunch of eyeshadow singles in here. It's Alhambra. I'm gonna put those aside for a giveaway because I already have them. Oh my God, some of these colors are just stunning. Look at this one. This is like a shimmery cranberry shade. Absolutely beautiful. NARS, thank you so much. Oh my God, this one's called Ishta. Look at how beautiful that color is. Oh my word. The next package I got is actually from La Mer. And I did open this and take a peek and I'm really excited about it. It was the cutest package. It's a, a teamed up, like La Perla and La Mer kind of teamed up and did this PR package together. I'm not sure if they're doing a full campaign or whatnot, but La Perla is like really beautiful, fancy, lingerie and things and I don't know I was just so excited but the package comes with the La Mer creme de la Mer moisturizing cream here which I haven't oh, actually used in a really long time but this is the creme de la Mer la creme in here beautiful beautiful packaging and then the package came with this beautiful La Perla robe in here how gorgeous is that it's so so nice and it kind of goes with the whole oceanic, you know, sea kelpie theme of La Mer. And I thought that was just so beautiful, La Mer. Thank you so much, that's so nice. Next, I got a box from Burberry, and this is their new Her Eau de Parfum. And then this is the fragrance itself. The notes are red and dark berries, blackcurrant, blueberry, raspberry, jasmine, violet, and dry amber, and musk. That sounds really nice. Give it a sniff. Oh, oh my God, that smells so good. Mm, it's very, very fresh and fruity, but like, oh, that's lovely. Wow, 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 that smells so good. Ooh, 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 I really like that. Thank you, thank you, Burberry. That's lovely. Then I got a big package from Briogeo Hair Care, and they sent me a bunch of their hair products here, as well as their Deep Moisture Max, which which I actually already put in my bathroom because I need to use that. Um, but they sent over a bunch of their stuff. This is a blow dry perfection and heat protectant cream, a conditioning leave-in spray, or don't respair repair. That's the mask that's in my bathroom right now. But they also have the leave-in moisture mask version and then the don't despair repair shampoo. And I've used Briogeo um, before. I've actually worked with them before and I love their products and I haven't used them in a really long time. So Briogeo, thank you so much for Sending these over, I am excited to dip in because my hair, my hair is in need of some TLC, that's for sure. That's gonna be it for now. That is the little mini PR haul that I wanted to toss into this vlog. It's already dark out, so, oh, they smell so delicious. That Burberry smell is so good. Nice, nice look. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> smell me, tell me what you think about my smell. How delicious is that? That just smells pretty good. It smells so good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, folks. I'm gonna turn this vlog off quick. I'm gonna continue unpacking, putting away the makeup. Oh wait, no, just kidding. Before the light completely goes away, I'll show you what I did with the makeup. <laughs> but this is what I've done with the makeup. So in here I've got foundations. Here I did blushes and powders. This is bronzers and highlighters and some bigger palettes. Then I put all of the like sparkly bits, like the cream eyeshadows, eyeshadow toppers, pigments, etc. Then I put like all the eyeliners here and eyeshadow bases. Oh right, these were the new bases from NARS. I forgot to show that. That was separate from the box. But they're tinted eyeshadow bases. I put some of the smaller palettes here and some lashes here. And then down here, this is my big palette drawer. I've got all my palettes. And then this box I'm going to leave open for like products that I need to try. Then in the desk, the first drawer, because I have the foundation bin over there, I just put all of my concealers in here. Some of my like base products, like the glow products, strobe cream, primerizer, glowy things. I put the contour products in here because I only have three contour related products. All of my mascara and brow products in here and then all of the cream highlighting and bronzing products in this section. And then this drawer I put all of my lip products. Hallelujah. I did all of the reds and oranges, pinks and purples, nudes, anything that was longer, any kind of pencil products. I did glosses here and here, lip liners, and then some miscellaneous products that didn't really fit anywhere else. And that's the setup for now, folks. See you in a bit. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday today. 
uh, last night, Dan and I, we ended up just tidying up a lot more. And then we actually went and did an escape room. And we did two, actually, and they were really hard. We didn't get through them. It was brutal. And then we went to uh, a brewery, and we just ate some little snacks for Dan at the brewery and came to bed. And this morning, we've decided that we basically rented a car. Uh, when we first got here and we decided that while we have the car we're actually gonna go to Canada's Wonderland um, Because it's cloudy. It's not the best, but it's not raining or anything So this might be one of the last days that we can actually go and drive there with ease so uh, Dan's never been and I haven't been since like high school I guess when I lived in Elmira. I think that would have been the last time I went um, And for those of you who don't know Canada's Wonderland is like our theme park here in Canada. We're gonna go hit up some roller coasters. It's probably gonna be friggin' freezing, but figured that would be a fun little weekend activity to do. Um, I'm just using the Paracone MD No Makeup Makeup Liquid Foundation Serum. <laughs> I really wanna gather my thoughts on this. I don't think it would ever be worth, what was it, $72 or something crazy? This is also the La Perla robe from La Mer that I opened up yesterday. How pretty is it? It's like an actual dress. I wonder, I'd be like really embarrassed if this was actually a, a dress and then I was wearing it as a robe, but I don't know. It could be both. Maybe I'll wear it as a dress someday. People do that, right? I don't know. Anyway, L'Oreal concealer uh -huh. for my bags. I'm just gonna use the Lila B powder to set this in. It's probably gonna be so cold this theme park today. I'm certain that we're not gonna make it. <laughs> I don't know what to wear. I don't know what you wear to a theme park when it's bloody blinking freezing outside. Using the Hourglass palette, this is pretty much the exact same almost makeup that I used in the Full Face Friday this weekend. Benefit Gimme Brow, number one on the brows. <laughs> Yes, dear. Yes. 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 I'm gonna wear the Lancome Lab Salut number 274 because I want my lips to have a nice stain but I want it to be really moisturizing too because we're gonna be whipping in the wind all day. So this one will stay put really nicely without drying out my lips. And that is the finished makeup. Watch Coca Trust. Babe, you almost ready to go? Yeah. Are you excited for the theme park? Yeah. Are you excited for the I'm excited for the roller coasters. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. I don't even know what to say about this room. This is this is my clothing currently because I'm waiting for a dresser to come here. And uh well, yep, that's that's that. <laughs> Pickup car. And um, I'm an incredibly skilled driver. Five stars, four stars, ten out of ten. Dave, show them the truck I've been driving. <laughs> you know what a big truck means? Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Got it. the Canada clothes because it's so freaking cold. It's two degrees right now. We made a mistake. However, because we're sacrificing our limbs a little bit, there's gonna be no lineup. So first up, flight deck. Da 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 Ikea because it's right here and I think we're gonna go there and get some sweetest meat 
Bye, Canada's Wonderland. Well, that was fun. But it's honestly just, it's just so cold right, ooh, look at the <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just so cold. We were gonna go on Leviathan again, but it's like uh, I just don't want to wait in the line. But anyway, that was a blast. face update I've decided I don't like that no makeup foundation whatever it's like curdled off my face I know we were on roller coasters today but like other things would have held up I don't like it it's not worth 72 dollars right next door Say something. <laughs> and you'll be seeing it very soon in a winter staples bid. Is this the turn? Yeah. Yep. Turn left onto York Regional Road 99, signs for Ontario 427 <laughs> South Toronto. And this scarf, a lot of people were asking on Instagram today where it was from, unfortunately. In 600 meters, continue onto Ontario 427 <laughs> South. Shut up, Google! <laughs> um, it was actually a gift from Fresh on the trip that they took us on last January, so I don't know where they got it, but Zara has beautiful dupes. They have really, really nice cashmere gray scarves right now, and they've been bringing them out every year, so in case you wanted a dupe for this one, Zara has the exact. I'll try and link this um, coat from Topshop in the description box down below, and we're gonna be going home and putting together this Ikea furniture which I'll probably just show you guys in a future vlog, yeah? yeah? I don't really want to film late tonight. So I'll continue this in a later vlog, show you guys how we set up everything we got at Ikea, and see you all in Tuesday's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go edit this vlog, and then post it. And if we die while driving home, then love you, it's been swell. <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs>